God, man. Yeah, how's it going? Are you Baptist? Yeah. Are you born again? Yes. Are you? Yes. That's awesome. What do you think that means? Well, born again is like giving your life and accepting Christ as your Savior, believing that He died and He rose again, that He's an all-living God. Okay. So being born again, that would imply that being born the first time was good, right? Well, being born, being born the first time is um, like born from your mom, but born again okay. is like dying to your sin, and being born is like accepting and asking God to be in your life and ask him to walk, ask for forgiveness from your sins, repenting and turning away from your okay. sins. Okay. So John said, he that is born of God does not commit sin. Do yeah. you believe it? Yeah. Well, this way, uh -uh. I that, that yeah. well there didn't this sound like you believe it. Well, I, we don't, I still sin, that's why. Okay, so you're not born again. If I go by I, what John said, you know. Well, I mean. There's temptation. Yeah, there's temptation, but yeah, I'm not going to be perfect. I'm going to. Why not? Jesus said to be perfect. We'll be perfect in heaven. That's that's called sanctification. There's sanctification all the way up until okay. the day you die. Then when you're in heaven, then you're glorified. Then you're perfect. What you, or what is the Bible what, are, you, are you? Yeah, the so Bible. You're born again, so you don't sin. Yeah, I mean, I could sin. John said, if we sin, oh. not when we sin. Obviously, I mean, we're God's image to start with. Yeah. We choose to sin, so that's why I must be born again, right? Yeah. So that, therefore, if I follow Jesus, why should I sin? I see people following the devil, that's all they do is sin. Yeah. So if I follow Jesus, I shouldn't be sinning. He says if you walk in the light, you won't stumble. As far as sanctification, it says in 1 Thessalonians 4 that this is the will of God, our sanctification, okay. and we abstain from fornication. Yeah. Uh, do you lust after women? Yeah, yeah okay, I have. so that's not the will of God, and that means you're not sanctified. And sanctification you're supposed to have when you're saved. Dude, what? You're getting sanctified all the way up until the day you die, though. Well, are you sanctified immediately? How are your friends doing? I guess it's, I don't know if you're sanctified immediately. You're, isn't that until like it's a it's a process? Who said that? I don't I don't know what verse it is, but okay. Well, for example, it talks about he's given an inheritance among those that are sanctified. Yeah. As well, there's a scripture that says yeah. he sanctified us with his own blood. So, I mean, obviously the blood of Jesus is the most important thing. Yeah. You're Baptist. You know, John was Baptist. You know. Do you believe one saved, always saved? Yes. Okay. So Jesus said you'd be cut off from him. What do you think? That I'm cut off from him? No, Jesus says you could be. Anyone. John 15. So if you're cut off from him, are you still saved? If he said that, I was just like, yeah. What, what do you mean? Like, you're saying that you say, what do you mean that you're cut off from him? Jesus says, you know, every branch that does not abide in me will be cast forth as a branch withered. Men gather them, cast them into the fire, they are burned. So I guess my question for you is obviously, in Jesus is everything. He's God. Yeah. And Jesus says you can be cut off from him. If you get cut off from him, despite how that happens, yeah. if it were to happen, would you still be saved? It takes more muscles to ground. Well, I don't, uh, I think, no, once you're saved, you're always saved. Like, you can, he might, like, the Holy Spirit might be dormant in you for a time if you decide to, um, if you decide to, like, live in that sin or whatever. But what happens if you lose the Holy Spirit? Yeah. You can't lose the Holy Spirit, but you can definitely have the Holy Spirit dormant if you decide and choose. Uh, so there are some in the Bible that had the Holy Spirit taken. Do you remember? It? No. Yeah, King Saul. Mm -hmm. He was David's counterpart. He was a good man at one point. He prophesied. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit was taken away from him. So we know that what Paul taught, you don't have the Spirit of Christ, you're none of his. So we need the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And because the Holy Spirit's God also. Yeah. There's three persons. Yeah. As I know that you're Baptist, so you know that. Now, if you lose the Holy Ghost, how are you still saved? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I have the Holy Spirit and you can. Uh, but if you just have to acknowledge it. You can't just like, ignore it. Okay. So, brother, the thing is, it says that the Spirit's given to those that obey God. Yeah. 
So obviously I'm compelling you to stop sinning right now. Yeah, definitely. And I, I'm doing that because I know that's what is going to make it for you. Yeah. And this teaching is here is not doing that. Because you're getting these teachings from somewhere. Well, whatever the Bible says. Well, brother, have you shown any verses? I don't have all, like, the, I don't have the references for verses. Right I understand. Now. But, like, if there was, like, a verse that said the Holy Ghost would never leave you, then we'd have some contradiction in the Bible. We'd have to figure it out. Like, well, I didn't leave Saul. I can't leave anymore. All right? We'd have to figure that out. But nothing yeah. says that. Same with uh, getting cut off from Jesus. Where does it say you can never be cut off? Well, I mean, we can talk to my pastor and maybe he might have I don't references. have a problem with that, but I guess my whole point is, will you go to the text that I'm bringing up and consider them? Because obviously they speak for themselves. And Jesus said to fear him. Yeah. What's there to fear if you can't go to hell? You should fear that he is an almighty, all-powerful all God. He is. So it's it's not a, a How y'all doing? Here. How's it going? I'm Brian. Ray. Ray, nice to meet you. How are you, sir? I like, I like what you got going on here. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to this gentleman about once saved, always saved, mm -hmm. and uh, being sinful as a Christian. Yeah. I believe those are heresies. Okay. And I'm trying to compel him not to believe those, because I do think heresy, like Paul said, you won't inherit God's kingdom. For sure. So the bottom line is that Jesus said to be perfect. Uh -huh. And Jesus said you can be bought out of the book of life. For sure. Okay. So, yes, sir. Tell you what, man, if you want to do that, you can do that anywhere, brother. But these are people that probably don't agree with what you think, but we love you anyway. I understand. But obviously, like Jeremiah, he went to the house of the Lord. Yeah, for sure. You see I, what I'm saying? Yeah, no. 100%. And I'm just in the public, so I'm not going to go inside. No, no, no. Um, you don't have to. But right, right. I think I, you'd be hard pressed to try to convince someone about Scripture when we believe something completely different. I understand, brother. But Jesus said you can be blocked out. So you never sin? Is that what you're saying? Well, I've sinned so many times in the past, I can't even keep track. But today, I yeah. don't have to sin. So who gets saved? Who gets saved? The old man gets saved. He becomes a new man. So who's allowed to go to heaven if everyone, if no one can, someone can lose their salvation at any point in time? Anyone could, yeah, because Jesus said that. Yeah. Okay. So well, if, no I mean, man, if he says no man can pluck you out of, out of no well, man can like pluck you out of my hand, yeah. how, how does that compare to what you're saying? Yeah, based on the conditions of the 27th verse, my sheep hear my voice, I know them, they follow me. Okay. Once you do that, you're good. Okay. But what happens if you stop following Jesus? Do you still have that promise? How do you know if I'm saved? How do I know? Yeah. Well, I would just go by what you're saying. I wouldn't try to dig into your personal life. I, I agree. Christ said, you'll know me by my fruit. Exactly. So what you're saying to me is something I believe that is heretical. Okay. So like he said, you are false prophets. I'm not saying you're a prophet. Like you said, go gotcha. by the fruit. Gotcha. Like if I just cuss at that guy, yeah. you're going to be like, well, he ain't right. For sure. That's it. Okay. Simple as that. So like now you would say I'm still safe though. If, if I the made a mistake, guy, if I did something according to my flesh. Like if I said the F word? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I know myself I would not be saved in that second. That's interesting. Okay. No, I, I, I did, like I said, I, we disagree here. But, I mean, obviously, this is a free country. But I think you'd be hard-pressed to try to convince someone in this in this building about yeah. those things. Cause we disagree oh, I know it's a hard person. press. Yeah, trust yeah. me. I, yeah, I've tried. I mean, I'm not even from this state. But like, Where are you from? Washington. State? That's it. That's that's quite the place to uh, to do something like it's that. It's even more liberal, right? I, I agree. This place is, you probably already know Hawaii and you know, all this stuff, too. It's more conservative. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. But we have a lot of churches in Washington State. Yeah. And they follow a lot of the same things. Yeah. So there's churches where there's money. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm fascinated we'll by you. So what do you think about... Um, I mean, people who share the gospel. Is that something you agree with? Like I do agree telling with others you. about the gospel? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a great commission and all that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I just did, I wasn't sure if that was something that maybe you didn't align with, but you do align with that. Yes. I mean, okay. I believe we should preach to every creature. I mean, in general, I can't do it all myself. Yeah. But it was nice talking. Have a good one. Nice talking. Nice. Pleasure. I mean, we just do what we can. Yeah. We all have different gifts. But the bottom line is, committing sin is of the devil. That's what John said. Yeah. Jesus said, if you have one sin of unforgiveness, you won't be forgiven. 
So I don't know how you get one stability suit out of that. Like, I mean, it's not hard in the sense of just doing the sin of unforgiveness. Well, we'll put our names in there. Okay, right. yeah. So Once we get cleared out, we'll be right there. Uh, hey. Hi, Chair. Yes, they have them too. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I mean, it's just something that you could choose to do. For sure. John says, I read unto you that you sin not, if any man sin. A lot of time what I hear is when we sin. I believe what John said, if we sin. I could sin. I've sinned since I've been saved. I didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? But like, if I were to cheat on my wife or something, or use the F word, or like lie to you, yeah. I mean, it's obviously damnable sin. It's willful sin. And the Bible says there's no sacrifice for that sin. John also says if we confess our sin, he's faithful and yeah. just to cleanse us our sin. So what, what about that one? Is that kind of in the same realm for you? Yeah, what if you don't confess? Okay. So if yeah, I have a son. Do you have children? Yes. Uh, I have a son. Yeah. He's only nine months. But if he says, Dad, I hate you, yeah. I don't want anything to do with you, I never want to speak to you again. Right. Does that change his standing as him being my son? Well, you wouldn't have fellowship with him, would you? Say if he's no, 19. Definitely not. Okay, all right. I, I, he wouldn't want to. If he, he does not want to talk to me. I, right, right. I, yeah, I wouldn't have fellowship. With exactly. Him. But would he still be my son? He would still be your son. The reason why that is important to us for understanding biblical things okay. is for identification. Okay. For example, the prodigal son was a dead son. Okay. And then when he came back, he was alive. Okay. Now I know in Jesus is life, and we can have it also more abundantly. Mm -hmm. So when he was dead, he was dead. Mm -hmm. Also, it talks about becoming a bastard in the Bible. And the example was Esau, and he was more than a son. He had the birthright and the blessing. Mm -hmm. He squandered them both, and the Bible says he was a bastard. Now, you would call your son a bastard, but right, you, wouldn't have, son, yeah. you wouldn't have fellowship with him, though. Mm -hmm. So they, there's another step, too, in the Bible, a bastard. So, you so what you're saying is if, yes, if I have a relational standing, I can't change the fact that he's my son. I had him. But if I don't have fellowship, that null and boys... The, that relationship standing null and void my ability to actually call him my son? Yeah, I mean, I, it's after the flesh, for example, which can teach a spiritual thing, but it is okay. still after the flesh. It wouldn't be after the spirit. Okay. I, I don't think. I mean, not for me. If my son was 19, yeah. and he was gay. I, he wouldn't be uh, my son after the spirit. I didn't bring him up in that. The yeah. devil did. So if but the Bible says... After the flesh, he's my son. After the flood, so yeah, yeah. oh, I can't compare that because it's not necessarily a spiritual. Matter. You you can get teachings out of that, but I guess that's why I mentioned Esau. Yeah. Because the writer of Hebrews took that into the spirit, and he said, "Man, he, he squandered everything. He left the birthright, the blessing, and he gave For it all soup, away. Right? Yeah. Yeah. For he, nothing. He gave it all away. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can give it all away. Okay. I, you know, Paul says, if you don't love the Lord Jesus, you're anathema." Okay. You're cursed. And uh, the only way to love Jesus by Jesus' standards is to do everything he says. So, I mean, if my son was gay, I know I didn't tell him to do that. Sure. So, even just looking at his own parent, mm -hmm. his days aren't going to be long in the land that the Lord gives us because it's, you know, the first command with a promise to honor your father. I mean, when you sin against your very parents who made you because they're heterosexual. See, you ain't. You know, yeah, I was going so, I mean, I do think there's good allusions to things, mm -hmm. but when you push them all the way through, I don't see how God the Father is going to make any exception there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I, I hear you. Thanks for explaining that, man. I, like I said, we agree. You, I think you said you call us heresy, uh, but we preach the gospel and we, we try to get people to understand their sin and live a life for Christ, but also to help them understand that you're not going to do it perfectly, but sanctification is the process that helps you become more like Christ. Okay. That, that's what we do here. All right. I believe in initial sanctification. Okay. So, yeah, uh, well, you probably tell. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want you to feel like we're, I'm disrespectful or that I hate you. I appreciate you taking yeah, yeah. time to Thanks talk to me. Thanks for talking to me, yeah, too. for sure. Okay. I know you probably get a different, maybe different things from a lot of different people, but we love you regardless of our standing, man. If you want to ever come by and be in a service, obviously, not to have a debate or anything no, like that. No, I understand that part of that. I respect service times and all that. I've yeah. been preaching on the streets for almost eight years. Oh, yeah. Here so, or both? Uh, mostly in Washington. Okay. So just recently in California and Oregon. Okay. This is a recent thing for me, but uh, I, only a few are going to find it. You know? and there's a lot of churches and a lot of people. There are, there are a lot of churches on this island. Yeah. Like you probably discussed it. And it's like that everywhere. If only a few are going to find it, 
What does that tell you about the people sinning in the house of God? I mean, that's what it says in the prophets. All the sinners of my people shall perish by the sword. Yeah, like I said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Remind me your name again. Ray. Ray. I'm your Brian. Name is Brian. Brian. Thanks a lot, Brian. I'm sure I'll see you around, man. Well, I don't know about Maybe. that, but oh, you never no. know. You God never willing. Know. All right. Hey, thank All you, right, sir. Thank you, sir. All right.